what's up guys welcome back to another exciting episode of iGeeks blog this is Puneet Khatri back from another video so basically guys in this video we're gonna talk about iOS 11 so yesterday you also might be updated till now that uh, Apple's WWDC 2017 event took place where they launched iOS 11 they talked about uh, watch os 4 mac os high sierra and lots and lots of more really good stuff the new imac the new mac pro uh, like there's lots and lots of stuff going on so but in this video we are going to talk about how to install ios 11 that's really really good because uh, we, everyone is really excited to know how it works what is it all about and everything so this video is all about how to install ios 11 without UDID registration or without a developer account and that too without using a computer that's the best part of this video all right and also I would like to inform you like this is a sort of disclaimer because iOS 11 has lots and lots of bugs right now because it's the beta and that's too it's the first beta version of iOS 11 so it is supposed to have a lots and lots of bugs and bugs all right uh, so I recommend you not to install it onto your primary device but you can install it on any other device but you if you want you can go ahead and install it on primary device at your own risk all right so you're done with everything let's go ahead and start with this video so guys there would be a link in the description down right there just go ahead and tap on the link and you'll be taken to this website that's applebeta.co all right scroll down and you would see iOS download hit download up right here and if you have an Apple Watch Pad, you would get this pop up and just tap on the iPhone option. Okay, just go ahead and tap on install. It will ask you to enter your passcode. Just enter the passcode and it will go ahead and install the profile and again tap install. Install. Alright, and then once the profile is installed, you need to restart your device. So I'll restart my device and get back to you. Alright, so guys, once your device reboots, what you need to do next is go ahead and tap on settings. Once you're there in the settings, scroll down, go ahead and tap on general then software updates and here you should have this ios 11 developer beta so basically what it says that you should have at least 50 percent battery or your uh, lightning cable connected so you, your phone must be charging or you should have 50 percent or more battery but i have really less so i'll just connect the charger all right so once it's done you got to download it and install it so all right i'll just tap on install because i already downloaded it before creating the video all right again you got to enter your password before installation Alright, so it's verifying the update and it would go ahead and complete the process of installing iOS 11 onto my device running iOS 10.3.1. Okay, so guys, the update process has been completed and I'll just press the, it says press the home button to finish. So you see that really good dialer pad, I'll enter the passcode. It says update completed, hit continue. You want to enter the password to your Apple ID now. Alright, so once you enter the password for your Apple ID, it will update the iCloud settings and it will continue with the other processes for activating your iPhone and updating it completely. Alright, so let's don't share it and get started using your iPhone and that's it guys. We are running iOS 11 and that's so damn awesome. You see here, you get your notifications if you scroll up here, get all your notifications over here if you scroll down. Press the home button and unlock it. You see the animations are really, really good. If you go in a notification bar, it takes you over there again, but it does not unlock your devices. So basically, guys, that's really, really good things coming up with iOS 11. But uh, this video was all about just installing iOS 11. So we have successfully completed this tutorial. And to know more about iOS 11, stay tuned and do make sure that you have subscribed to iGeeks blog so that you never miss an update related to iOS 11 or the related new updates coming up continuously. Alright, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you then please do make sure to give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to iGeeks blog, and I will get back to you guys later in my next video. Peace.